Welcome to Fortress Technology. I'm Pierre Di Girolamo. I work at uh, Fortress Technology. Um, I run the South American part of the business. Uh, I do help out worldwide in all our facilities also. Fortress is a metal detector manufacturer. We also have uh, check weighing and x-ray systems now as part of our business. Fortress is um, one of the largest metal detector manufacturers in the world. We specialize in uh, various segments. Uh, I'd say most of our business is related to the food industry. Uh, but we do serve the pharmaceutical industry, the lumber industry, paper, uh, paper mills, uh, cardboard, uh, you name it. We're not limited to the industry. A lot of industries need metal detection. A lot of industries in the past relied on uh, magnets, uh, but our technology is, uh, is specialized in detecting non-ferrous and stainless uh, products. Uh, so we can basically serve any industry that requires uh, metal detection. Food safety is uh, primarily the, the reason why a customer will come. Our units will go into end of the line inspection. So at the final process, uh, we'll pass it through a metal detector. Now the reason we pass it through a metal detector is uh, most of our food today is industrialized. So machines create our food. Uh, a lot of times the machine could fail, uh, could break, components could fall into the production or into the product. And it ends up into the product. We want to make sure that we could uh, safely remove and protect the, and the end consumer and the company's image also. So a lot of our businesses focus on end of line inspection. We also focus on machine protection. So if um, we could install units prior to a mill, for example, or prior to a, a cookie dough uh, forming system. Uh, a cookie dough forming system is a big brass barrel that stamps the product or the cookie, the shape of the cookie. So uh, imagine a, a nut or a bolt falling into the stamper, you're going to damage a very expensive piece of equipment. So we'll install a metal detector prior to that to protect the equipment. These metal detectors, they need to be tested uh, frequently. So usually a customer will test every hour. Uh, to test these pieces of equipment, we need to insert a test sample, let's call it. That test sample is made of a plastic uh, with a metal sphere that's calibrated. So that metal sphere is a specific size to what the customer wants to detect. So it could be two millimeters, one millimeter, up to 0.1 millimeter uh, in diameter. We offer uh, three test samples. We test ferrous, non-ferrous, and stainless steel. The issue with most of our competitors and what we had in the past, uh, our test samples were either made of acrylic material or uh, HDP. Now we got two problems. Acrylic is a brittle material. So if you drop a piece of acrylic, it can shatter and it can contaminate the actual product you're trying to inspect. Now the problem with contamination with acrylic is it's not detectable anymore. It's not metallic. So it becomes very difficult to detect. Most of the food industries do not want acrylic. Um, the other option is to use an HDPE or UHMW product, which is food approved. But you have to start engraving. And the problem is there's no contrast. Well, a lot of companies, what they do is they'll put fillers inside the letters so we could actually see what the contaminant is or the lettering on the contaminant. Uh, the problem with that is you're introducing another potential contaminant. So you can use these types of test wands, but it has to be with packaged product. So any bulk product, you cannot use that because you have a risk of contaminating with the fillers of the actual product. So Fortress, uh, we, we work to try to develop a way to find a solution for that. So we want to get away from that filler, away from those engraved uh, test samples, and uh, we went to Trotec. We needed to find an engravable plastic, the laser engravable because there's no paint, there's no filler, so you don't contaminate the product. So Trotec kind of helped us with a, a series of plastics and they gave us options and they opened the doors for us to go and test uh, on their equipment in their labs. So we brought a bunch of plastics, brought it to Trotec, saw which one was engraved the best, and then we came out with uh, polycarbonate. Uh, polycarbonate is a food approved plastic. There's certain types of polycarbonates that are food approved. We create our own test samples and we were able to use the Trotec laser to engrave uh, directly on the, the test samples. So in, in the past what we used to do is we used to batch produce. 
So we'd send an order to a supplier outside and say, give me 100 test samples, 2.5 millimeters, right? So we had these 100 and we put them on the shelf and hope one day we're gonna use them up. Now we're able uh, to reduce our stock and custom batch our uh, test samples. So a lot of the test samples, they have to leave with a certificate and there has to be a batch number on it. It's part of quality control. So you're testing, this is a test sample. It needs to be controlled by a batch number. So when you're engraving outside, you have to pay an additional cost, extra price to get a batch number when you need it. So you have to take that one test sample, ship it outside, get it engraved, bring it back, fill it, and then send it to the customer. So with the Trotec laser, we eliminated everything. So everything is done internal. We have test samples that are blanks. It takes us 24 hours. We engrave it, we fill it with our test samples, and that's it. So we have a food approved, color coded, uh, perfect for an in industry, there's no bacteria trap and uh, we can custom build whatever we want. We did have an engraver before that did a, a little CNC desktop engraver. Uh, it takes too much time, uh, it's not worth it. Why we went to Trotec, it's a local company. For me, it was a local company. Uh, the first one that came up, and uh, the fact that they opened the doors for us, and they said, "Here, you know, come over and test it." You know, so they helped us find a solution. You know, and they have a lot of materials in stock and everything. Uh, we did go with our own material, uh, but we did we used the Trotec because of the support. It's local, and it was a good machine.